In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a line plot in Microsoft Excel using the COUNTIFS function. So you can see I have my data set here. I have 1,470 rows of values of observations about employees at a fictional company. And I'm interested in knowing where my, how far my employees live from the workplace. So I have this distance from home column here, and I want to get a count of employees for each of these distances from 1 to whatever the maximum value is. Now you'll notice that I have my data formatted as a table and you can immediately see that because when I have a cell selected here the table tools design tab opens up and if I click on that you can see under the properties group that I've named my table data. Alright so the first thing we need to do here is I need to select all my distance from home data because I have this formatted as a table I can simply move my cursor up until I get this black down arrow. When I click one time all my data is selected without my column header being selected and then I'm going to use control C to copy it. I'm going to open a new spreadsheet, right click, paste values. Under the data tab, under the data tools group, I'm going to select remove duplicates and OK. Now all my duplicate values have been removed and I only have my unique values remaining, but you can see that they're out of order. So I'm going to again under the data tab, this time in the sort and filter group, I'm going to select sort. I want them sorted smallest to largest and I don't have headers so I'm going to leave all the default values alone and click OK and now I have them sorted 1 to 29 in order and I'm ready to continue. So now I need to get my counts. So I'm going to type equals and count ifs. I'm going to use tab to open the formula up. Now my criteria range will be the same column of values in the original data set. So I'm going to specify that data set by simply typing in the table name, name data. I'm going to open up a square bracket so I can select the column that I'm interested in. And I'm simply going to use the down arrow to go down to distance from home, use tab to select it, close my square bracket, comma, and in my next argument for this function, I want to say I want to count values in this array here if they're equal to this value here. So I'm simply going to select that value close my function, hit enter, and now I can see that I have 208 employees who live one mile from the workplace. And now by simply double clicking on the fill handle here, I can get those same counts for all of my distances. Now I'm going to select all of my data. I'm going to come up to the insert tab and under the charts group I'm going to select line plot. I'm going to pick my first option here. I'm going to expand this a little bit. Now you can see that I successfully got my counts plotted, but Excel also by default plotted a line for my actual distances, which is not what I want. So under the Chart Tools Design tab, I'm going to come to Select Data, and I'm simply going to deselect Series 1. And you can see that when I click away from it, it gets rid of that. I can also simply remove Series 1 by, by highlighting it and selecting Remove make sure that I still have series 2 checked. I'm going to hit OK and now we have a nice line plot that shows how far our employees live from their workplace. Now I, what I typically like to do is when I create a line plot that only has one line I don't normally include a legend because if I have the axis titles on here it's kind of self-explanatory so I'm going to go ahead and make those changes so I'm going to come up here under chart tools design tab under the chart layouts group I'm going to select the add chart element drop down. I'm going to add my horizontal and vertical axis titles. And then under legend, I'm going to select none. Now I'm going to appropriately name my axes. So down here on the x axis, I have distance from home. And here on the y axis, I have my number of employees. And there you have it. Also, if I want to change the appearance, of course, I can always come up here under the Chart Tools Design tab and I can select some different appearances. If you like what you see, feel free to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And until next time, happy learning.